We begin tonight in Fort Erie, where residents were hit hard by last week's winter storm and blizzard, and it's still snowing. Well, some roads still need to be plowed, and some areas are still without power. Sean Cowan joins us live with the very latest. Sean. Taz, well, it's really been a dangerous situation in Fort Erie over the past few days. Dozens of people actually spent the night in their car at the side of the QEW and other roads because rescue crews just couldn't get to them. But today, progress is being made. Digging out and clearing the roads hasn't been easy. The mayor of Fort Erie says other municipalities have come in to help, but... There's been some pretty significant challenges in terms of the plowing. They relate to things like getting trees off of roads, uh, going around um, abandoned vehicles, and there, there have been many, many. Um, and then dealing with the, the drifts that occurred. Um, the drifting snow gets packed down by the wind. Uh, as the crews are, are plowing, they add on to the, the size of the drift. Over 11,000 people in Fort Erie were without power at the peak of the storm, and crews have been working 24 hours a day to restore it. And there are crews in Fort Erie from all over Ontario. I believe on Christmas Eve, a crew came down from Sudbury and has been here since then, which means they were here in Fort Erie on Christmas instead of spending time with their own families back home because they knew that the, the need here was, was desperate. Some were without power the entire weekend. Certainly your anxiety kind of gets to you a little bit because, you know, your phones are down, your internet's down. You can't see outside, the wind is howling, it just doesn't let up. Residents who live in the Black Creek Leisure Home community just outside of Fort Erie say they've been snowed in for days. Um, what I've heard is that the contractor for this community hasn't been here. So honestly, it's been the good grace of local residents that are catching on to the story and coming out here to, to help and family members. Firefighters were able to rescue some cars that got stuck on the side of the road, but not everyone. This family spent the night in their car on the QEW because the fire department couldn't make it out. They were eventually rescued by people on snowmobiles and then spent Christmas night at Fort Erie Fire Station 2. And we welcomed them into the station with, uh, with tears in our eyes. Some of the bravest firefighters I've ever worked with had, had tears in their eyes carrying that, uh, that four-year-old boy into our station for warmth. And the fire department is re reminding people to stay off the roads tonight. They are saying that it is still too dangerous. And I'm told that the fire department is actually responding to a number of carbon monoxide calls over the past 24 to 48 hours to individual homes because those furnace vents are being blocked by snow drifts. So they're reminding people tonight to just go out and check your furnace vents. Those are the white pipes that come out of your house. 